Okay, so this video is about the, um, well, these two problems talking about accumulation and the definite integral. Okay, specifically with rate in and rate out. So you're going to notice that there's going to be, for number one here at least, people entering a, I guess it's a health club, so entering a gym and leaving, right? People come in and people go out. People don't just go into the gym and stay there, right? People leave and people come. Okay, so there are two things going on, and then the next one is, um, well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, so let's see. Reading the problem, we have an entering equation, and we have an exiting equation, and we're looking for between 0 and 20. So this is our time frame, okay, between 0 and 20 hours. We know that there are 29 people to begin with. Right, whenever that t equals zero may be. It might be eight in the morning, it might be four in the morning, we have no idea, but whenever they started keeping track of people, there were 29 people there. Okay, and then of course we have our entering, with E is for entering and L is for leaving. We have your two functions that tell you how many people are coming in and going out. Okay, so number one says, is the number of people in the facility increasing or decreasing? Okay, increasing or decreasing. Basically, are there more people coming in or are there more people going out? Right? So let's set up an equation for that. So that's our general equation. So we just want to figure out how many people there at our 11. So you're going to use your calculator and plug an 11 into your entering equation and then plug 11 into your leaving equation. Okay? So here's your entering equation and here's your leaving equation and the calculator is going to tell you the answer. Now you're going to decide if it's positive, then that means more people are entering than leaving and if it's negative, then clearly more people are leaving. Okay? So that's what we're going to decide here in one second. So there are 8.82 people entering and there are 6.8 people leaving. So basically we have an increase of two people. Okay, so that means that the um, number of people is increasing because entering minus leaving is two. We have two more people coming in than we have leaving. Okay, to the nearest whole number, how many people are in the health club at time t equals 20? Okay, this is asking for total number of people. Okay, so yes, we're going to take the integral from 0 to, wait, that's the wrong spot. Here we go. Here we're at. From 0 to 20 of the entering population minus the leaving population. Okay, and we're definitely going to use our calculator for this. Um, dt equals the number of people at 20 minus the number of people at zero. Okay, so we're going to plug this whole thing into your calculator, right, using those equations from up above, and it equals to the people at 20 minus the people at zero. So eventually, once we figure out what this part is in your calculator, we're going to add our original 29 to that, and that's going to be what we have right at 20, exactly at 20. Okay, my calculator is saying that the integral from 0 to 20 is 27.333, which is about 27. Okay, I don't know P of 20, and I know that we began with 29 people. Right, 29 people at T equals 0. So when we add 29 to both sides, we get approximately 56 people in the club at time in the workout club, in the gym club, at time t equals 20. Okay, part C. When are we going to have a maximum? Okay, so this is once again using the extreme value theorem, the EVT, which means we have to check for the end points, so 0 and 20, right? And then how many people are in there? And I know at 0 we know there's 29. And I guess at 20 there were 56. So we have to see if somewhere on the during the day, right, we had a maximum, right? We got to see if there was ever a zero, okay? Is there an, act an actual maximum point? So we're looking for when are the people entering equal to the people leaving? 
right? That would mean that there's no change in people. In other words, we'll have a slope of zero, right? No change is a slope of zero, and that's what represents the, at the top, okay? So thank goodness we have our calculators, because we're gonna take our E equation of negative 0 0.018 T squared plus 11 and set it equal to our um, leaving equation, which is this one, I think. Let me see what else we got in there. We have a minus 0.25t plus 8. Okay, so we're going to figure out when is that equal. And you can do it using the graph if you want to find the graph and see where they intersect. You can use the end solve on your calculator if you want to figure out where they intersect. Okay, there's lots of ways. You can do the algebra if you want to and get your t squareds together and factor it. Probably not going to work. Actually, this is a positive one, isn't it? My bad. So sorry. This here is a positive value. Okay, so there's lots of ways that we can find this answer. Okay, so I suggest you do the way that you know how to do it best. So using that method, we find that t equals 14.664 is another place where we're gonna have a zero, okay? So we have to come over here and we gotta try 14.664. So you plug that into your people equation of entering minus leaving and you see how many people are there. Okay, now if that of course is more than 56, then 14.6 is the maximum. And of course, if it's less than 56, then 20 is your maximum places. So let's see what our calculator says when we plug in 14.664. Okay, so let's use ourselves a nice integral, shall we, since that's what we've been doing so far. Let's take the integral from 0 to 14.664 of your function, right, that we just did a little while ago. Okay, and that, of course, equals P of 0 minus P of 14.664. Okay, so we're gonna have your calculator assist you figuring out this much, and then we're gonna add, I guess we should switch these things, shouldn't we? So sorry. We're gonna add 29 to it, and that's gonna tell us the amount of people at 14 and a half or so hours. Okay, so let's do that in the calculator. Take the integral from 0 to 14.664. Right, if you have your calculator still there, just press the up arrow a couple of times until you find that equation that you did before, and then just change your upper limit of integration. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Okay, and when you do that, you get 38 and change, 38.268, I believe, or 288. So that number plus um, 29 is 67. Okay, and I guess we can clearly see that 67 is bigger than 56. So we're gonna have a maximum time at 14.66 hours um, during the time interval that we're talking about. Okay, so it's kind of intense. We have to know that you gotta find it when there's zero. Right? When are the people entering and leaving the same amount of people? Okay, solve that for T and then to find the integral from zero to t to figure out how many people are in the club at 14 and a half hours or so. Okay, so similar to what we did before, but now we have to find that t value, which makes it doubly tough. Okay, so our last one, if the club, health club has less than 10 people, the owner will give everyone a special health drink. Okay, it says to set up but don't solve an inequality of one or more integrals that could be used to find the time H when the people in the health club is less than or equal to 10. Okay? So we have your um, people at time H, right? That's what we're trying to find, <clears throat> the people at time H. So we know that we started with 29, so you throw that in there, <clears throat> and we're finding the integral from zero to H. Right, so H, capital H, is your upper limit of integration that we're going to not solve, okay? And your function was the amount of people entering minus leaving, okay? And we want this number to be less than or equal to 10, 
Okay, so this would be the equation that you would want to solve in order to find the h, the upper limit of integration. Okay, and that would not be something fun to do because you would have to anti-differentiate and then plug in h for your um, fundamental theorem of calculus. And there's so much to do, which is why they said set up, don't solve, because it would take you about an hour. Okay, it might take me an hour. You're smarter than I am, so it would take you 20 minutes, but it would take me too long. Okay, so people in minus people out. Okay, for part A, we want to take the integral. Ooh, that's a, that's a highlighter. The integral from 0 to 10 of just our entering cars function from 0 to 10. So this is going to go straight into your calculator, right? Menu um, 4, 3. If you have a TI Inspire CX CAS system, you plug that in, and we get uh, something like 510 point blah blah blah, which is about 510 cars, because you can't have half a car. Okay, even a smart car, it might be tiny, but it's still a whole car. Okay, a truck is larger than a car, but it's still a vehicle going in. You still got to pay the same amount no matter what kind of a vehicle you bring in. So about 510 cars. <clears throat> okay, part B, find E prime at 5. Okay, so we're taking the derivative of 58 cosine of 0.163t minus 0.642. Okay, we're going to take the derivative of that function. Okay, now your calculator is a handy place to do this. So let's talk about what you have to do to take the derivative of this in your calculator. Okay, so um, once again, go to calculus. So menu four, and number one says derivative. In fact, it says derivative at a point. Oh, that just says derivative. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. So dx of my function, and then you put your function in. Okay, so make sure you put your function in there. Okay, so when you plug this into the calculator, right, and you take the derivative, so it's um, menu, menu, and then you hit four for calculus, and then you hit one, which is the derivative. Okay, it gives you a derivative of something and then you take that derivative and you change it and plug in x of 5. <coughs> Bless you. There's no editing here. That was a gross sneeze for all of you. Negative 1.627 is the answer for the derivative evaluated at 5. So what does that mean in the context of this problem? If our derivative is negative, what does that tell us about the amount of cars entering? The amount of cars entering is decreasing, right? The amount of cars entering is decreasing at time t equals 5, okay? The amount of cars, right? The rates at which cars are entering is decreasing. So cars are still going in, just not as fast as they were at a different time. Okay. The rate at which cars is entering the garage is decreasing at time t equal to 5. Okay, part C. Find the number of cars in the parking lot at time t equals 10. So this is once again going to be an integral from 0 to 10 of the amount of cars entering, right? So we have entering from 0 to 10 minus the integral from 1 to 10 of the cars leaving, okay? Because we don't have any cars leaving during that first hour, so we have all the cars entering minus all the cars leaving, and we started with 290 cars, okay? Because it just says find the number of cars in the parking lot. So we have to add in the amount of cars that were there to begin with, to find the total number of cars in the parking lot at time t equals 10. Okay, so this is where we're going to use your calculator and use your functions and plug everything in, and your calculator will tell you the answer. 
So be careful when you're plugging it in there. Okay, this gives me an answer of 665.1. So 665 cars are in the parking lot at some, um, at 10 hours, yeah. right? That's a pretty good number. So we start the number that we start with, plus the number that went in, minus the number that came out, gives us 665. Okay, so part D is once again an extreme value theorem problem, right? When is it going to be a maximum? So we have to check your different times. We have to check the zero and we have to check 10. And we have to see when the amount of cars entering is equal to the amount of cars leaving. Okay, so once again, you're going to figure that out with your um, end solve or whatever you got to have, right? There's lots of ways that you can figure that out to find the time at which the number of cars entering the garage is equal to the number of cars leaving the garage. Okay, that's our rate of zero. Right, that's your horizontal tangent line, the rate of zero. Okay, so when we do that in your calculator, okay, whatever method you choose to do that, You should get um, 2.521, okay, is the time when the amount of cars entering is the same as the amount of cars leaving. Okay, so now we got to set up this crazy thing. Okay, so our calculator is going to help us. So we want to figure out how many cars are in there at time 2.521. Okay, so once again, use your up arrow so that you can just change the upper limit of integration from 10 that we had before until 2.521 that we have now. Could you scroll up just a smidge? Okay, so this gives you 264.4 something something cars. Okay, so that's how many cars are in there when you're entering and you're leaving is the same, 264. Okay, which clearly means we should have 10, right, 10 at the time, 10 at the end of the day is when we have the maximum number of cars in your garage. Okay, so whenever we're trying to find a number of the maximum, right, the maximum is the hardest question, you have to figure out your endpoints, right, your zero and your 10, but then also figure out when your things are gonna be equal, when the amount of people going in is equal to the amount of people leaving. Okay, and your calculator helps you do that because this would be a crazy equation to try and solve, right? So let your calculator or whatever device you have helps you solve that. Okay, and then once again, you find the area under the curve of the integrals using your time that you just calculated. Okay, and that gives you your number of cars at that given time. Okay, so whenever we have these um, right, cars in, cars out, rate in, rate out problems, and you're trying to find a maximum or a minimum, you have to figure out that middle time when are they equal, right? Because that's the top of your, the top of your um, graph whenever we have a horizontal tangent line with a zero slope. When is that rate zero? Okay, so hopefully this helps and you feel better about rate in, rate out problems. Goodbye. <laughs>